One of the great limitations and, and, and um, limitations of QuickBooks Online is that people say, look, one of the problems is I can only have one company open at the same time. And that is not, that is not accurate. The, the way Google Chrome works is every Google Chrome user has sort of its own instance of, um, of the login connection with QBO. So right now I have this sample file open and it's under uh, that user that you see up here. So you kind of have to look at uh, in the top right here where you see um, Hector at QBK. That's my Google Chrome user. And I can leave that this, uh, in this uh, QuickBooks file open in here and I can click on that little name there and it will open up this menu. This is called uh, the Google Chrome user menu. And then what I can do is I can click here where it says manage people and you're gonna create a Google Chrome user. This has nothing to do with a QuickBooks user. This is a Google Chrome user and every Google Chrome user, it's its own, um, it's its own instance of a connection with QuickBooks. So if I actually click on add person and I'm gonna call this one Hector QBO user or something like that, okay? And I'll put here the hamburger logo and I click okay. This opens up a, a, a separate, sort of a separate browser, but it's also a completely separate instance. So what I can do here is I can actually log into QuickBooks Online um, again, even in this case, I have the sample file open on the left side, but I can open up QuickBooks Online here and let me uh, put my credentials. Okay, so I'm logging into my actual account here. Okay, so I got my Google Chrome user logging into QBO here and I have a, an entirely different a QBO account here on the behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this to the left, shift, and, and then bring the other one to the right. So I essentially have two Google Chrome users uh, going on. One is logged into one QuickBooks file, so I can go in there and pull up, let's say, um, a PNL report or something like that. So on the left side, I have the sample file open. So I'll pull up a PNL, whatever it happens to be. And then on the right side, I'm gonna open uh, another client file here. So I'll open up a client file here on the right side and I go into bookkeeping and log in. And essentially what, what I can have is, I can have on the right hand side, one QuickBooks file open, and maybe I have you know, their balance sheet or something like that open, and then I have the, the different QuickBooks file on the left side, and I can essentially work in two entirely uh, QuickBooks files at the same time. So that's actually really interesting stuff. So if I, if I can have something on the, on the right side open, and then something on the left side open, I can work independently, enter transactions on one or the other, and this can all, all be done with um, Google Chrome users. And it could be the exact same, um, it could be the exact same login. So you can log in into your account twice and open up an entire different um, uh, 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 QBO file with it. So you don't have to have separate logins. You can log in twice with two different uh, browsers. Okay, so that's, the first part I wanted to tell you that let's let's call that the benefits, quote unquote, of having multiple Google Chrome users. So that's that would be the, the, the first benefit, the obvious one, is I can have multiple QuickBooks files at the same time. 